Hello and welcome to the Video Game Codex, the show where I try to explain to you all the various terms used to describe the video games industry and video games in general. Today we are dealing with hardcore in the gaming sense. There isn't a dictionary definition for hardcore gaming, but there is a general one. A game requiring a high level of skill, knowledge or commitment from the player. As opposed to a casual game that can be just picked up and played, a hardcore game requires some effort to get into it. And requires even more effort to become good at it. It requires not necessarily having skill or reflexes, but also knowledge, an understanding understanding of its mechanics, of its essence, and all that can take a lot of time and effort. And you may be saying to yourself, wait a minute, what do you mean that a hardcore game is something that you can't just pick up and play? Does that mean that Call of Duty is not a hardcore game because you can basically play the single player campaign by shoving a toothpick in the W key and then sometimes clicking? And you would be kinda correct. Hardcore is best used to describe something like Dark Souls that requires you to understand the fundamentals of its combat mechanics before you set out. It requires you to understand the way the world is built to kill you. Hardcore would also be something like an economical simulator, something like Capitalism, something even like Transport Tycoon. These are games that require you to understand economics, to understand how the process of building a company, running a business and balancing a budget actually work. To some degree, just about any game can become hardcore, or at least can have hardcore players, even Minecraft. You may say to yourself that it is the simplest game possible because any kid can pick it up, yes, but can any kid design a fully functional CPU in it? No, that requires effort, skill and a lot of knowledge to actually do. It requires a commitment that most people will not will commit to. So in some aspects, most games, well, some games, can be both casual and hardcore at the same time. Even a Call of Duty game, well, no, not the single player, never, but the multiplayer component can require enough commitment at a certain level that it becomes hardcore. The same is true for Counter-Strike. It's easy to pick up and play by anyone, but to actually be super competitive in it, to be among the top, you have to become basically a hardcore player. You have to dedicate yourself to that game. That being said, you can't really become a hardcore player of Candy Crush because there really isn't that much depth to it that would require you to invest a lot of time learning it. It's also based on a lot of random bullshit, so that's why Hearthstone will never be a hardcore game and I do not understand how it can even be a competitive one. Everything in that game is random bullshit and badly designed mechanics that just do not allow you to even react to what the enemy is doing. Now what is the popular definition of hardcore? That would be a game not for casual scrubs or filthy casuals in general. Hardcore game is something that people say about their preferred game in order to gain a sort of reverence, a sort of social standing in their group by admitting to play it. Because if people see that you are playing a hardcore game, then you get cred. You are more believable as a hardcore gamer, as someone that takes this seriously, as someone that knows what they're doing, what they're talking about. Someone that is dedicated to this, someone that has merit to be of a higher standing in the social structure of the gaming group. You know, assholes. Now, what is the marketing definition of hardcore? Well, that would be anything as long as we sell it to you, you majestic keyboard warrior, you gamepad gangster, you joystick knight or whatever, you are the best, you are the greatest, just buy the next Call of Duty and play it like all the cool actors in our ads. Hardcore for marketing people is just a buzzword. It's meaningless, it's just there to attract people that want 
they seem like they're cool. Your basic 14 year old. The core audience for Razer products. People that believe in the gaming advantages of $100 mouse pads. People that believe that, hey, maybe if I drop out of high school, I can become an esports champion too. That is generally what the marketing people target when they use the word hardcore. Now again, the games having a requirement of effort, of knowledge, of skill to them, that's nothing bad. That's good. It means that the game requires something from you. It gives you more of a challenge. It gives you more satisfaction when you actually achieve something in it. But generally, marketing people just weasel things in there and it becomes kind of crappy. Like, for example, giving XCOM a Iron Man mode, you know, for the hardcore people, which is again complete bullshit because XCOM, like the new ones, even XCOM 2, is not sufficiently stable and does not have sufficiently well-defined rules or well-made rules in order to warrant an Iron Man mode. It would be like not wearing a seatbelt on a car you know has faulty brakes. That's hardcore, right? No, that's just kinda dumb. And so closes the hardcore edition of the Gaming Codex. I'll be back next time with a new gaming term to discuss. Goodbye. Thank you for watching this show. If you enjoyed it, please consider watching some of our other videos and maybe sharing them or giving a thumbs up if you feel like it. And if you really, really liked what you saw, please check out our Patreon page. For just $1 a month, you could help us make much better shows and get some rewards in the process. Or you could consider buying my book called Tale of Doom. Volume 1 is out now and available for just two dollars and as always if you thought it was horrible you know where to find me and complain about it